Today we will create XML file of this simple article. It's open cabinet and it has uh, some uh, variables. So we also create uh, uh, some simple logic of this article. So in Emos catalog creator, in the catalog we have created uh, last time, uh, create a new article clicking by right button and new item and we fill we enter item name uh, open cabinet and we will be used uh, a default template called XML basic if we double click on article it open and now we can change some uh, menus of article uh, at first in the part article we have to set uh, uh, item from or article from emosket so if we click on this button we can uh, find out the article we want and then in the part definition we can set menus of this article uh, we can delete this default power folder and we create the new one so if we click on new para folder uh, we enter name of the para folder it will be uh, for example dimensions and click ok into this uh, para folder we insert components uh, to set uh, dimensions of article so for example for width in axis x it will be combo box so axis x and the values uh, and now we can click ok so user uh, can uh, uh, choose only from these uh, values for width of the article um, for depth we insert the component edit box it is in axis y and we don't enter any values so the label of this variable y is depth in millimeters and uh, we set a limit uh, for example from 500 to 800 millimeters so click OK and if we want to set uh, limits of for depth of article there are attributes of this uh, variable minimum and maximum so we set 500 to 900 and default value will be for example 800 and, and the last dimension of article is height so for example combo box x is z and uh, uh, variables uh, values of variable will be for example 700 800 900 and okay so now and can change the label of this variable z uh, so it's height of article in millimeters and we set 700 to 800 
OK. Uh, now we can uh, um, generate XML files to Emoscat. So click Emoscat preview. And after genera generation process, we can open Emoscat and new file and uh, through the Emos Design Manager we can insert an uh, article we have created. So open cabinet and we can change dimensions. So for at first for example 400, 800 and height will be 900 and click OK. And now we can simply change these dimensions so width will be 600 and height uh, sorry depth will be 500 and you see it's working and now we can go back to Emos catalog creator and we now uh, prepare uh, menu for change the material of this article so in part domain definition we create new para folder called case material and click ok uh, into this uh, para folder we insert component uh, combo box and we set uh, uh, menu of variable for case material so we have to find out a variable to change a material of this article and it's a family of variable uh, this this family of variable so we select uh, this of, uh, set of values and also we uh, enter uh, info one and to uh, prepare values for simple logic so beach is wood decor maple is also wood and red and white are unicorn decors and now we can click OK so we change label of this uh, variable it's case material and confirm it uh, we can also change a value type so it's a uh, how the items or value value of variable will be shown for user so it's image and if we double click on this item we can change uh, image of this value so it's wood beach this is maple this unicorn red and the last one is unicorn white so now we have uh, prepared a uh, value of variable for change uh, case material so we, c uh, we have to close uh, design manager and click uh, emo scan preview again to generate XML of this uh, article. Now we return to emo scan and uh, change your visual style to realistic. And if we click here, we open design manager and we can uh, change. Uh, a case material so if we click to beach box 
of this article is beach and if we open the manager again we can change case material to red so it's working and now we go back to Emos catalog creator and uh, prepare some simple logic uh, in uh, parafolder case material we add uh, a new uh, component combo box uh, called uh, filter and its value will be wood decor unicolor and the last one will be no filtering now we can click ok a filter will uh, the value type of filter will be image we find out some uh, image for this item for this value so for example this one unicolor for example this image and no filtering uh, for example this one uh, now we can go to part logic definition and we create a simple logic if we click on button insert if or insert uh, conditions uh, field if and button add node so the condition is if uh, case material so this variable oh sorry um, clear if uh, filter filter value variable uh, the value is so filter value uh, wood decor so if filter value is wood decor then uh, the variable of a case material so this one uh, which type is uh, info one list we set last time uh, so case material info is one is wood and click OK so uh, this conditions mean that the uh, when the filter is when the value of uh, variable filter is wood decor uh, then uh, in variable variable to change a uh, case material will be shown only items which have in info one list uh, value wood uh, now we insert new condition uh, sorry new condition to if else so if after else section so and the, the condition is the same so if uh, filter value value now will be uh, unicar so if uh, filter value is unicar then uh, the case material variable info info one list 
will be only uni. So now in a variable for change the case material will be shown only uh, items which has set info one list for two value uni. And the last one and the last one is if variable filter and its value is no filtering and then case material info one list is uh, and now there will be value wood and also uni and okay so now we have uh, set the uh, logic definition and go back to uh, part definition para for the case material and we check if we have uh, set uh, info list uh, in uh, all of items so there is info one list attribute wood wood unicar and now uh, in white uh, in value of variable for case material white there is missing attribute info one list so we can add there this value so it's unicolor and okay so now we have everything prepared to generate uh, XML file of this article for Imoscat again So now we can open Imosket and uh, we can also new file open, click on design manager, open the article, change its dimensions and also change its material so now filtering is working and we can easy change its material for example maple now